sweet, you guys. It's so bright. Good morning. Today we're filming a video about what our days look like. I have yeah. glow sticks. So first thing in the morning, oh. I nurse the baby. So that's what I just did. Then I'm gonna change his diaper. Eloise wakes up around the same time as Wilson. And then we eat breakfast and hang out, watch shows or play or whatever happens next, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So should we go eat breakfast? Yeah. Let's yeah. film while we eat breakfast. We will. <laughs> okay. Our walls are bare here and then also, I've been trying to put random stuff up here, but our housemates moved out this week and they moved to this amazing house with a pool. So for that, it's nice and it's not too far away. Also kind of sad. So our house looks a bit empty right now. Hi, just don't spill the water. We have to redecorate and figure out what the style is supposed to be. We still have Becca's plants, but that's just because she hasn't come to pick them up yet. <laughs> so once those are gone, it's really gonna be empty. Blueberry cereal, frozen waffles. <laughs> what does yours have on it? Cream and blueberries. Yeah, whipped cream and blueberries, and they're protein waffles. <laughs> what are you doing, mister? Right now we're watching Sesame Street. It's been a while since I've done this vlog style video. So Eloise hangs out right here for watching. Yeah. Uh, Wilson's here. He usually likes to be right next to where I am. Uh, even though there's toys everywhere and he could be anywhere. <laughs> He's gonna be right here. Hi. If I'm lucky, I read a little bit right now, journal a little bit, respond to messages I'm behind on. That's all if I'm lucky. So that happens maybe every third day. <laughs> yes, we do. Now let's do letter B ones. Okay, buh, buh. Um, we don't always watch the same show. A lot of times we'll switch it up. Bicycle. Yes, bicycle, boy. Sorry, it's hard to talk to you. Welcome to my real life. We switch it up, sometimes we watch shows in Spanish, movies, and then whenever Wilson goes down for a nap, which is usually like two or two and a half hours after he wakes up, then that's my window of time where I either go out and go for a walk, I go back to sleep if I need a nap, I run errands. Eloise at that point can be watching a movie or something or playing with Play-Doh or slime. She's she's pretty good at being independent and playing by herself. And Sean's here, um, so she's safe if I were to leave somewhere. So I think today I might go for a walk because yesterday I didn't get out of the house. And by the end of the day I was feeling kind of just Ugh, gross and I don't know, kind of sad, but no real good reason. What are you doing? One, a pink one, and a yellow one. Yay, so fun. Hi, baby. Tickle, 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 tickle. Who washed his hair last night? Me. You did, you did a great job. I hairstyled it. You did? Brushing it. Hi, boys. Hi. I always brush his hair. <laughs> you do. You need to brush your hair, lady. Hi. Good morning. Oh, I'm coming too. <laughs> I'm so lucky. How old are you guys? <laughs> I'm four. And how old Wilson? I don't know. He's zero. Oh, no, he's 11 months old. He's almost one. When's your birthday? I don't know. Yes, you do. Oh, wait. <laughs> when is it? June 25th. Oh, what day? When do you When's do Wilson's do? birthday? June 27th. Yep. June 25th is soon. Yeah, it is. What language is that? French. <laughs> you just love it? Mm -hmm. I would say most of my day is cleaning and the house still always looks messy. Ribs. Yeah? Put them on at four in the morning. Oh my god. I scared you. Oh no. 
Oh. Come on down, girlfriend. You put them on at four in the morning? Yeah. Wow. Well done. Whoa. Well, oh, they smell so good. No. Some people don't. City. Some people don't eat meat. Well, this piece fell off, so. You gonna try it? Gotta try it. Delicious. Yeah. Needs barbecue sauce. Well, Louis, are you gonna do a makeup tutorial? Yeah. All right. So what's this? The makeup set. Wow. This is the big brush. Have fun, baby. Okay, take this stuff for the eye caps because I always do. I'll take this one, but that's more sparkly. Wait, that wasn't for the lids. That was for the eye caps. Blue eye caps. And green. Blue eye caps. Okay, now the other eyelash. Wait, I said eyelashes! I'm in the eye caps. <laughs> Brush the brush off. Now I'm gonna do the eyebrows. This one. Now let me take some of the eyebrow stuff. I think I'll do the green. Put one of them. And now the other side, this other pink. Ah, uh, yes, Wilson, you're here to go into the toilet, aren't you? Sorry, buddy, that's not clean. Okay, now we'll do the cheeks. Not really rosy, so rosy. The dark pink. Here's the dark pink. The stuff I put on my cheek is actually for the lipstick, but there's no stuff for your cheeks, so I just use lipstick for my cheeks. But now I'm gonna do the lipstick. You look stunning. Excellent. You look gorgeous. I'll do your hair before you go to the party, okay? Okay. Just tell me about so it. So tell me, sweetheart. No, you. Okay, just tell Dad. We'll, we'll laugh together, though. You tell him, and I promise I'll laugh with you. No, I won't. Baby, your okay. makeup looks beautiful. Mm. I love it. I know. So pretty. Say so thank you. Thank you. So tell me about this um, butterfly thing. No, I want you to, Mom. Okay, she came out here to tell me about this butterfly clip, and she said, this is a butterfly clip uh, because one time I caught a butterfly, and I made it die. <laughs> <gasps> no, <laughs> it, it died on his own. And then we changed the story after she said, I made it die, and I put a clip on it, and now it's a hair clip. Uh -huh. And I said, what if we just said it died on its own of natural causes? Mm, natural, so yeah. so then we changed the story. So you caught a butterfly, it died of natural causes, and... Now it's a hair clip. Now it's a hair clip. Because I put a pin of a hair clip. Wow, this loudest washing machine. I know, and now that I think about it, I guess we should have filmed that clip while the washing machine wasn't raging. <laughs> Let's see your hair. And the other side. Beautiful. And what are you doing today? I'm going to a queen's party. Why did you just move it back? Because I like my ones. Oh, well then let me fix it because it'll fall out. You're on my window, so hi everybody. While well, mommy is filming her video, we're out here doing this. Hi, I'm gonna whisper. 
because our friends arrived and they're right outside that door. I just filmed a video and it took me forever and I feel kind of dumb. I don't know why I feel dumb. Hopefully it's good. It just doesn't feel that good. I'm eating pickled popcorn. Have you had it? Did I tell you about it? I can't remember what I've told you. It's so good. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I feel a little embarrassed, but I'm going to put this video up later today. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, here it is. I'm editing the video on Visco. I'm just adding a filter so it doesn't look so weird. Um, and then I'm going to go hang out with our friends who are here. We have friends here. We haven't seen them since before all of the coronavirus stuff, so this is very special. Okay. Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Are you the cutest boys ever? Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is happy 11th anniversary to the fellers! Yeah! yeah. And, and we just. It's a, yeah, it's a joint 11 year anniversary party. <laughs> but how long was that? Ours was a week ago, theirs is today. 11 years. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> don't, don't stab him in the face, sweetheart. Woo! Whoa. Dang, that was twice. Yeah, punch your head. Yeah, yeah, punch your head. Is this how we treat yeah, guests? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye to Hannah and Sierra, they're leaving. <laughs> She's eating an entire watermelon. Oh, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> I just forgot that we were filming this video, but yeah. then Sean reminded me we're filming a day in the life. You haven't missed much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's, oh, sorry, I just kicked my baby. So now we have moved into get ready for bed. Eloise is in her jammies and she's eating dinner number two. Then she's gonna brush her teeth and yeah. call Nona and call Papa. Nona and Papa. Every night, book. every night she calls his parents. And then I'm gonna snuggle her. And they play and they read a book. And then Sean and Eloise fall asleep together. You're so tall. You're so tall. <laughs> it's hard to film. Sorry. And uh, then I am gonna do something very relaxing. I don't know what, but I'm tired. And I am covered in baby food. That's real life. Wilson goes to bed about seven. Eloise gets into bed and calls Nona and Papa about seven. And then she's asleep or goes to sleep-ish at like 7.45, eight, sometimes 8.15, occasionally 8.30, but not usually. Oh, you got the fire one. You got the fiery one. I got the fire one by mistake. <laughs> So every night, Eloise finishes the day by talking to Nona and Papa, that's my parents, and they play filter games, and they read books, and they jump around on the bed, and what book are you going to read tonight? I don't know. Oh, you got the colored one. Hello. This video is about to end. It is 10.30, I think. Let's see, 10.38. And Wilson is crying. He's either teething or has a tummy ache or something. So Sean's in there. Um, and my evening was spent <sighs> trying to manage some comments on the Facebook group. There's a Facebook group we have for moms that are really awesome. And right now, um, obviously, it's a sensitive time in the world. Everybody's talking about um, the horrific murder of George Floyd and what has gone on with Breonna Taylor's case and the all of it racism in our nation and um so what happened so some people posted some things in the group comments got pretty nasty I was getting my phone was going crazy all afternoon of uh, people screenshotting things sending them to me are you seeing this um, people just being really awful to each other on on all sides of the spectrum. It wasn't uh, one particular people um, with particular beliefs over another. Uh, yeah, it was just it was just people get passionate, and seems that the next step is people get mean. And I 
I'm new to Facebook management. <laughs> I don't really know how to do it very well, but I was trying, um, along with the help of some friends, to delete mean comments, keep helpful things, figure out how do you keep like the positive content um, while getting rid of the stuff that keeps being flagged by many people. Um, and I, yeah, I couldn't figure it out in a way that made sense. So deleted the posts, posted something of my own that was just basically saying that we want it to be a safe place for people, for moms of every color. And I, I'm not racist. <laughs> I've, yeah, I mean, this is going to probably turn into something. Yeah, bleh. it's really late at night. Anyway my actually the comments i was most concerned about were the ones that were racist <laughs> and so that's what set this whole thing off um anyway my point in the my post in the group was just to say that i don't mind if people have differing opinions on things but that the group is going to be a safe place for everybody and then i posted it genuinely um, and it, people got upset and rightly so. I mean, it's a time when you can predict people are going to be upset no matter what you say. If you say something, you're going to say the wrong thing, but you should say something. But if you don't say something, then you're being silent and everybody, um, is, is trying to manage our own emotions towards the situation. And so it just makes sense. It's, it's a heated time and also it's become very political. And so that's just another element to add to it. Anyway, from there got a lot of responses and then responses to those responses and many of them were not great. I, uh, I hurt people's feelings and so then I was trying to manage that and um, yeah, it's just what a time to be alive. So that was the end of my night and I wish I could hug everybody on that feed, like everybody who's getting stirred up about everything. I feel like if we were all in real life, we would be friends. And yeah, I really, I really do believe that. <laughs> um, I hate this stuff, but um, but I don't stand for racism, so that's something. Um, that's also not new to this week, <clears throat> but I'm growing a lot this week and learning things that I didn't know before. And uh, it's just a tricky time. But what I will say is I'm really happy about all the change that's happening and the voices that are being heard that weren't heard before. And I'm happy to have such a passionate bunch of people in that group on Facebook that really care about issues that should be cared about. And um, just, if you want to live your life not offending people, you're just not going to be able to do it, no matter what. Say something, don't say something, it's just not going to happen. So what I think you got to do is live your life in the best, most loving way that is genuine to yourself, what's true and beautiful and loving and do that and then be ready to handle it when um, people don't like what you did, which is me tonight and probably tomorrow, um, but that's okay. I, um, I'm i okay with it. We'll figure it out, right? We will. Have I cried today? Yes. Did I put it on this camera? No, I didn't. That's probably the only part of the day that you missed and um, yeah, I cried. I, I just feel insecure. I think I'm pregnant and so I have a lot of emotions. Um, but it's I feel insecure about being a mom and I feel insecure about how to lead people and love people in a public way and uh, honor lots of different opinions. And uh, yeah, so I did cry. Didn't put that on camera, but I'm just telling you because you know, you want a real day in the life. Well, a real day in the life does involve tears. It's just that in that moment, I didn't feel like filming. So anyway, uh, also changed my clothes because Wilson was going to destroy that white dress I had on. So cool. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for following along with my life. You're beautiful. You're doing a great job. I'll see you soon. Bye.